you saw this video on my instagram and you wondered if it's stop motion if it's green screen or how exactly was it edited today i'll be showing you guys how i turned this into this if you don't already know me i am the two-faced and i make cool videos and yes i made that one too off the bat now that you've seen the raw footage you know that it is not green screen but it's also not stop motion honestly humne koshish ki thi that my subject sits very still while i replace the cards and we can make an actual stop motion out of it but getting camera movement while also replacing the subject in every frame is virtually impossible without the right equipment so i did what any normal human would do i decided to make the edit in post so step 1 we'll be shooting the video right now i could have chosen any card from the deck but i decided to go with this one i know that moka needs 4 points to track any surface properly तो बिकॉज मैं वहां पे रिप्लेसमेंट डालने वाला था आई डिसाइडेड टू चूज अ कार्ड विथ फोर प्रॉपरली अलाइन पॉइंट आप भी सेवन फोर एट ऐसा कोई भी कार्ड यूज कर सकते हैं जिसमें चार प्रॉपर पॉइंट हो ना वंस योर वीडियो इज शॉर्ट लेट्स गो इन टू आफ्टर इफेक्ट एंड लर्न हाउ दिस एडिट वॉज कम्प्लीटली डन दिस इज वॉट माई फाइनल प्रोजेक्ट लुक लाइक आफ्टर द होल एडिट वॉज कम्प्लीटेड लेट्स गो एड एंड मेक अ न्यू कॉम्पोजिशन आई एम गोन नेम दिस टूटोरियल एंड चेंज द एस्पेक्ट रेशियो टू नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी बाई टेन एटी बिकॉज हमको मालूम है वी आर मेकिंग दिस स्पेसिफिकली फॉर इंस्टाग्राम रील्स I'm gonna bring in my original footage, turn it by 90 degrees, and pre-compose it so that my video is of the same aspect ratio. Let's add Mocha to this composition. We go to Effects, Boris FX Mocha, and add Mocha. Launch Mocha AE by clicking this button. If your layout doesn't look like this, you go to the drop-down and you select Essentials. Now you select the Pen tool and you draw around the card that we're trying to track. In track motion options also enables queue and perspective now click on show surface tracking data which will bring up the four points that we need to align on the card also enable show grid which will give you a better understanding of the surface that you're tracking once aligned click on track forward and let mocha track your card while it tracks keep an eye out for any unwanted movements and you can press pause and change it on that frame Once you're done tracking forward also track backward so that you have a good solid track of the whole video. Now increase the size of your tracking surface because hum log jo card insert karenge wo pura card cover karna chahiye. Now that you have a good solid track you can press save and exit mocha. For the card animation or the card flash let's make a new composition and name it card flash. For now let's keep the aspect ratio as 1080 by 1920. I found this free PNG online which has a flat lay photo of all the cards in the deck. You bring in this photo in the new composition and you scale it so that its width matches our composition width. Now we need our composition to be exactly the size of the card. So you go to composition settings, unlock the aspect ratio and you change its height so that it matches the card's height. This step is important because our composition size needs to match the card size that we tracked in our original footage. Now let's bring in the card flash in our original comp and we can now apply the tracking data on this comp. Now go to the effect control panel of our original comp, select on tracking data, click create tracking data, select the one that we've tracked. In export options, click on corner pin supporting motion blur, layers export to change that to our card flash and before you apply export, we need to do one more step. Select your card flash comp and press control alt f. This will stretch your composition out to fill the whole frame and now this whole frame will be compressed into the four corner pins. Now you can go back to your effect controls of your original comp and press apply export. the card might be misaligned so you change the anchor point and bring it back to your original card now you have your comp exactly tracked on to your original card for the card flashing animation go to your card flash comp and you can keyframe the position to change at every frame or sync it to your original music my card needed to change at every frame so i keyframed its movement at every frame and now i had this card flashing animation which appears directly on our original comp to make the card look a little more realistic you can go to effects and add lumetri color to your card composition now change the settings to match the surroundings because my subject was holding the card with his finger above we need to bring back the finger so we're going to duplicate our original comp go back to mocha and track his finger once i have a solid track i came back and created a ae mask out of it now because this mask is above my card layer i have brought the finger back and now i can add effects like drop shadow and make it look more realistic 
This was a highly requested tutorial and I hope today I taught you something new. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please do so. Uh, all my main content goes on Instagram first and then I make tutorials for those videos here. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.